Hey YouTube, this is the Fragrance Guy here and just want to create a video of me unboxing my bespoke fragrance that me and another person, a perfumer named Candice from CJ Scents have been working on for a few months and uh, let's open this up. And uh, this is my fragrance called uh, Sweet Memories and basically what this fragrance is about or the story behind it is... Uh, a childhood memory I had when my mother used to make me and my brothers and my sister um, a rhubarb pie. We had uh, fresh rhubarb growing in our backyard and uh, I wanted to create a uh, fragrance to uh, make me remember those days. So um, let's see here what I have. Now we did a bunch of different versions for this fragrance and uh, the smell of this is like uh, buttery and new baked and I really really liked it and it was the only one of all the different versions that we did. I'm just gonna show you those. <coughs> so uh, as you can see we did a bunch of different versions here. I mean here's a couple Here's even more and even more. So we did like a ton of different versions and this is the version that I think most people will enjoy. Uh, and um, as I said, this is a rhubarb, uh, rhubarb pie type of smell and the rhubarb is way in the background. We tried different versions and uh, when we had it in the foreground, it was too sour. So um, yeah, this is the, this is it. And uh, yeah, very excited to finally have this. And look at that color. This is some strong juice. And uh, when you order yours, if you do, uh, you might need to not use it for a while, a few weeks maybe for it to age because these are designed uh, or created freshly blended. Uh, so let me screw on that top here. Man, that color is just insane. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, spray this on. I have already sprayed a couple of scents on me. So let's see if I find... Let's try on my hand here. Yeah, I really, really like that smell. It's, um, I can see myself alternating with this, between this and Ombre Nargalet from Hermes. Uh, they are quite different, but they still have that edible gourmand uh, type of smell. Now, let's see what else she sent me here. Uh, I got some samples here. Uh, sweet memories. Let's see here. And I will be doing a giveaway on my channel. Just maybe one, two, or three. I don't know how many I got. And I will be doing some in the, the fragrance group, Fragrance Guru Nation, which I'm a moderator at. And uh, let's see here. I think this is the new version of... Um, Ginger Shy, which has been reformulated, and uh, the original version did remind me of T42 from L'Artisan Perfumery. And um, there's not even a label on this because this is so new, uh, we haven't even designed the labels. And if you didn't know, I did design these labels here. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, I think they turned out quite nice. I do think that she should have put it. Uh, more centered and a little more down, but hey, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, Ginger Shy, the new version. Okay. And this is, um, if you buy from cjsense.com, you can buy 15 ml bottles. And because this is between 30 to 40% concentration, you don't really need a lot. So um, 
I think that's great that she does that because uh, I think more houses need to offer smaller sizes, at least for us collectors. Uh, okay, let's spray this on and see what I think of it. Oops. Yeah. This is smokier than the original version and um, I do like it actually. It does make me think of tea, certainly. This is smokier. I wonder if she has leather in this. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I got a couple of samples here. Um, please read in, in the description below to see how you can participate in this giveaway. Now, I'm not sure how many I'm going to give away. Um, maybe one, maybe two. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. And uh, thanks for watching.